Especially right here at the ground, the grand final. Welcome, footy fans. Well, round 11 pretty much was what we expected to have happen down there at Amy Stadium. The Blues got over. 111 points to 14 points. Power kicked 7 goals, 7. We kicked 16 goals, 15. It's double their score, but look, it was just a, a game that we were going to win. It never looked like we were under threat there during the game. Would have been horrible if we had a one. I would have had to leave the country, I think. Probably gone a sort of asylum in another land if we had been beaten by the power, to be honest. But we got over the line very easily. We're sitting there in fourth position. It's entrenched us a little bit there in that top four. We're looking good after 11 rounds. The rest of the round pretty much unfolded as we expected it would. And it's hard to be motivated and inspired on a game that just showed the difference between a top team and a lower team. As Blues fans, we're all looking there and feeling confident. The Pies, the Geelong team, Hawthorne, they're all sitting there up above us and doing all right as well. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to have to do our very best in the next few weeks to try and keep ourselves a little bit closer to the mark. We've got to get up into that third posse, second if possible. Pretty hard though, we're going to have to knock off Geelong or Collingwood along the way. And of course Hawthorne. We've got to beat those teams that are above us, that's really the crucial part. Now we've only got three teams above us. It isn't asking a lot because hey, it's good enough to be in the top four, but to beat those teams above us gives us a little bit more impetus towards the final series in 2011. In the meantime, we've got another week coming up. Uh, let's see how we rock along here. It's time to get a little bit fired up. Footy head's very comfortable, got a good feed in the belly. And of course, the soul's being well fed by the Blues doing okay. In the meantime, go you Blues! Watching the mighty man, please.